Hmm. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, this looks like a good door to knock on. Anyone there? I think we've stumbled upon the office of Dr. Hello. Jay Quinzella. Hello. Come How in. are you today? I'm good. What's happening? Just working on some top secret code. Are you? I am. Oh, what does the top secret code say? <gasps> what are you doing, Jake? What does this all mean? You'll find out in Comp 1511. And what is Comp 1511? Comp 1511 is programming fundamentals where you will learn how to write code in C to instruct machines to do amazing things and have a lot of fun on the way. Hey, is Comp 1511 the best course that you'll ever do? I think it's the most fun you'll have at UNSW or anywhere. I don't think that you have any bias in this opinion at all. Absolutely not. How are you feeling? Do you think you need a coffee? I'm good, let's go get a coffee. Oh, here we go. I should get my keys. Have you got, I was just going to say, have you got your keys? That was my next question. Okay, you've got your keys. Keys, wallet, phone. Let's go. Coding, head. Programmers take breaks too. Do they? They do. And will the students get some breaks in 1511? It's a lot of work, but there's a lot of help for you. Um, we have help sessions, revision classes, lectures, forums, tutorials. You'll meet two lovely tutors next week in your labs. So, but it is a lot of work, but and it's worth it. By a, oh, but it's worth it. Are you, in what way is it worth it? It's worth it because you get to learn how machines work in a fantastic programming language C. A lot of fun. And tell me, Jake, what is your favourite thing about uh, programming? My favourite thing about programming? You can solve real problems and, and all you need is one machine to write some code and then all of a sudden hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people can use your system. Hey, Jake, how many lines of code have you written in your life? Oh, impossible to count. Oh, impossible. Is it infinity? Infin infinite, infinite amounts. And beyond? And beyond. <laughs> Should we just get off here? Let's get off Sorry. Here. <laughs> oh, we didn't expect that there would be other people in the lift. Did you expect there would be other people in the well, lift? Well, we should have expected it. A Look, good programmer expects bugs. Let's take the stairs. Okay, so um, just watch out. Do you think you could fall off the stairs? It's possible. It's known <laughs> to have happened here. Gotta be careful. Um, and talk to me. What safety is there in COP 1511? Safety. So the biggest safety I think is your tutors. Work with them. Go to your tutorials, go to your lectures, go to your labs, and then we'll make sure you're on the right track. Oh, that sounds like a pretty amazing way to do it. And you're saying these tutorials and these tutors, can you tell me a little bit more about the, what's happening? What's the structure? We have an amazing teaching team, 50 strong, roughly tutors and lab assistants. Um, so every week you'll come to a tute lab where you'll have an hour with your tutor and then followed by two extra hours with both your tutor and your lab assistant. <laughs> Sounds um, like you'll be meeting a lot of new people. You will in a new class of about 20-25 and if you need help outside of the tutorials you've got the forum which is also run by tutors. We have about 2,000 questions and answers every single term. 2,000 questions and answers? My goodness, that's a questions. heavily used forum. Sounds amazing. What other kind of help can you get? What about, have you heard of DCC Help? DCC Help, so as you may know, in Comp 1511, we have our very own compiler that the teaching team here works on. And something that you might use this term is DCC Help, which is a really cool tool built into the compiler to get you solved with problems that you come up across in your course. Shall we make a latte? Well, you know I don't really drink coffee. What's your favourite coffee, Jake? A good latte. I like a pour over lately though. I don't actually know what that means. What does that mean, Jake? Those that know, know. Oh, I see. That's where we're going with this. What about the lectures? When are the lectures? Oh, you'll get the timetable in your inbox really soon. You might already have it, in fact. And yeah, number one piece of advice is come to lectures, if you can, or view them at least live. So if you've got questions, one of the tutor moderators can answer them in real time in the chat. The lectures sound like they're a lot of fun. Is that the vibe that they're we're going for? Fun. We have cahoots with prizes and you can learn some interesting content along the way. And actually, what language is 1511 in? 
We've said it a couple times, but it's in C. <laughs> C is an awesome language. It's very low level. It can be a bit of work, but it's fun and it's worth it. Hey Jake, what's your favorite computing language? Even though it's not about languages, but what's your favorite language that Let's you've done? Favorite language at the moment? I really like TypeScript. I like Python, but really for me, it's about the right programming language for the job. <laughs> Careful then. My coffee's getting hot. Should we wrap this up? One more question. Okay, one last question. I better make it good. And the last question is, what is your favorite game? Okay, video <laughs> game, board game? I just saw some games here and I thought oh. <laughs> that's a good question to ask. What's your favorite game, Jake? What do you like to do on your time off when you're not doing um, Comp 1511? I have a lot like of hours of Dota 2. Hmm. <laughs> I see, I see. Thank you so much for joining us, I'll Jake, and for answering three. not 73 questions, but it could have been 23 questions. Enjoy your coffee. See you soon.